Oh, gypsies! Yeah, gypsies. I'll uh, get you gypsies in the house. Woo! Just as well, right? You know. <laughs> when we, when we uh, practice the song, uh, Michelle said, Is this pro gypsy or anti gypsy? And I said, Yes. <laughs> when, uh, when the Romani peoples left northern India sometime in the first millennium, it's all kind of a bit fuzzy. They came out of, you know, it was never going to be a happy ending because taking a tribal nomadic culture and plopping it down in the middle of settled people was never going to work. But they start showing up in the 14, early 1400s in Germany and then they spread up, you know, into Spain and eventually up into the British Isles. And their leader, their tribal leaders, styled themselves earls and dukes and were treated as visiting royalty. And uh, the the reason we call them gypsies, of course, is that uh, the only way that settled Christians could get their minds around this entire people coming lock, stock, and flock, you know, from wherever the hell they came to, you know, their shores, was the idea of the exodus out of, out of uh, Egypt, when the Hebrews went. So they were called Egyptians, and they styled themselves, uh, for example, in, uh, in Scottish law, there's actually a, a, a place where King James said, and our well-beloved cousin, the Earl of Little Egypt, has the power to govern his own people. And so any charges that are brought against his own people, he has the right to decide. Well, you know, that's kind of like, that's kind of telling the fox to guard the hen house. So, uh, you know, they had pretty much wherever they turned up, they had about 30 years from the time when they were welcomed with open arms as pilgrims and guests until they were pretty much told if you're in town at midnight, we're going to string you up, put you in chains, or, you know, um, so they're ready, and this song is called Believe It. Gypsy horn, gypsy feet, 